This is a bracelet buddy helping hands. It's a chaos piece loaded with beads and coils. So if you want to see how this is made, stay tuned because it's coming up right next. All right, let's get started. I've got two pieces of 16 gauge wire that is cut 18 inches long. Two pieces of 20, uh, 20 gauge wire that is 18 inches long. I made some coils and I just cut them up roughly half inch. It doesn't matter to me. I've got a nice decorative uh, crystal bead. It's got an AB, whatever they call it, factor. I can't remember. And I've got some crystals, Swarovskis, Swarovskis, just some different shades of blues and some burgundies to kind of pull out the color of this bead. And I've got this pretty, these pretty. I might add them. I might not. I don't know. It just depends. And I've got this clip. I won't tell you what we used to call them. <laughs> they are 51 millimeters cable lead clips. I got them off of Amazon. So if I remember, I'll put the link to those in the description box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, one of these 16 gauge wires and I'm going to measure about, oh, let's go with 12 inches. So I've got the 12 inch mark right here and I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to give it just a little pinch. And now I'm going to feed the long end of the wire through that this round hole at the on the clip and now i'm going to give this another pinch not really hard i just want to get this flattened against the top because i want well i want it to sit right on top of each other but i'm going to fold that back for right now and I'm going to take the other one, 16 gauge, and with it being 18 inches, I'm going to go to the 9 inch mark, right here, fold that in. I've changed some things on my phone to try to keep it from getting oh what's the word to keep it from uh, going out of focus all the time when I do jewelry videos I, it always happens and I am trying to fix that so that it doesn't happen anymore I'm not really I'm kind of <laughs> I'm I, I'm not I'm not dumb when it comes to technical things, but sometimes I am technically challenged. So let's see. I want this. I want the long piece to be in the middle. Let's see. Where are we at here? Okay. Long pieces in the middle, and you don't have to worry about what it's going to look like because since this is going to be a chaos piece, I think it will be just fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash the whole piece right here. All right, and now what I want to do is I want to get this just secure. All right. So now on this centerpiece, we're 
we're going to just kind of build some coils, swirls, not coils, swirls. And with it being chaos, you don't have to worry about how messy it looks. We're just building a frame right now. So it's going to have an ugly stage. So don't worry about that. I want to try to keep this piece straight. Bring that up. Follow these two around here. Take the inside one. I'm going to make a, a swirl. And the next one will just feed around that. You could wrap coils around this, one of these wires, just to add dimension. But to save time, I'm just going to use bare wire. I've also got about four feet of 22 gauge wire that we're going to use to add all of this stuff. And we want this to be roughly six inches from the tip of the clip. So four to ten. So let's get a marker really quick. Come on, get a hold of that. I've also changed the format to create a better quality video. I don't know if that's going to work either because it's limiting me to 10 minutes per. Um, this one, I'm going to give it a little bend and wrap it. Okay, we'll get this tiny little coil right here and we're going to bring that right up to the edge. Let's add our bead. And we're going to bend it right here. I'm going to put a tiny little loop right here at the end. Okay. Now we want to rock it back just a little. You see how that is just off center? All right. And now I want to wrap it around my bead. This is why I added all that extra. It went behind it. And now I'm going to come around. We'll add a little swirl right here. Follow this line. Okay, so now I'm out of wire. So what I'll do is I'll just pull this up. And fold it in. I'll just give it a pinch. So however you end it, just end it so that you can hide that end wire because you don't want... Let's see, what was I going to say? You don't want any pokey bits. Don't want anything poking out and, and hurting your hand, scratching your hand. Okay, so now I have the, uh, one of these. I'm going to fold it in half. 
you don't have to fold it in half you can just start off and I might do that with the other wire but I'm gonna tuck it right up underneath that loop that I created there we're gonna do a swirl right here bring that around to the back and follow that kind of like that so I'm going to go ahead bring that around All right, we're back. My battery overheated. My bet my battery went dead. <laughs> so we just added that bead there. Now we're gonna come up and wrap it around, and we'll add another bead right here. Let's add a bigger one. I'm going to tuck this one down. Instead of wrapping. And you may want to go with a shorter piece of wire and just keep adding. All right. Let's add a coil.
Let's do three beads. Just for some interest. Get those down. And we'll tuck this right down through here. Okay, let's go with a yellow one. I'm going to give that just a little, little pinch right there. And we'll wrap that around. I'm holding that bead down so that it doesn't shift on me. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. It's just what I think will look best in this section. Let's go with three of these purplish looking things. You could do five if you wanted, or just one. But being as how they are so small, I think these are smaller than four millimeters. I think that they would look Personal preference, completely personal preference. I think they would look better with three. Or if I was doing a, a larger patch, I might even put five down. Okay, I've got room for a bigger bead right through here. I'm saving this one to lay right up in here somewhere. So you're just going to find a hole where you can find it when you want to do a, instead of wrapping it around the center wire, you just find a hole where it will go through. Nestle that bead down in. Oh. My laptop has a volume on it and I forgot to turn that off. I gotta make a hole. This, I don't remember what this was, but I just took my husband's grinder. The one, it's like a wheel. I got epoxy on it. Anyways, I just spun it right around on that grinder until I got a nice fine point. So it makes a perfect all. 
So now I got my hole there. Okay, I want to get this flat. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it perpendicular. I want it horizontal to the plane. Be careful, because Swarovski crystals can break on you. I like this. I think I need to add something right in here. So let's see if I can get down there. Okay, just fit it through. I got this right here and I'm going to give it just a little kick Let's see where that lands perfect I 
I like putting these coils on and them being only a half inch or so because it creates just a little tiny interest, which is what I like. We don't want it, I don't want it, everything, you know, symmetrical, because I'm not a symmetrical person. I, I There is some beauty in the, what's the word I'm thinking of? To me, the organicness of a piece reminds me of nature so it's very important to me to create pieces that remind me of nature oh what a joke Is that chaotic enough for you? <laughs> All right. Now, if you end up with lots of extra wire like me and you have more beads and you want to add more, go right ahead. This is strictly a free form everything. I'm going to wrap a bit more. 